Nyberg and I'm with Angus Thompson of Urlar, which is near Gladstone in uh, Martinboro in Wairapa. Well done. Oh, now, <laughs> come on, can you fix this name for us? It's really difficult for, for Wairapa. We, we outsiders. You yeah, know, it is a tricky one. Mixed up with Wai, uh, Wai, see, Waipara. <laughs> <laughs> so can you help us? Yeah, so uh, Waipara is uh, halfway down the, the South Island, uh -huh. uh, close to Christchurch, and Wairapa, as you've said, is uh, the region in which uh, Gladstone and Martinborough is in. So uh, it's at the very... Gladstone, it's Gladstone, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Well, I'm British, you see, so it's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's at the very uh, southern end of, of uh, the North Island, so slightly further north. And um, increasingly I see the name Gladstone being used. Do you think there's a little bit of a shift towards... Oh, we so hope so. People um, rattle off the tongue more quickly. I think, yeah, I mean Gladstone obviously is a name that's a lot easier. Uh, Waira Rapa is mm -hmm. hard enough for Kiwis, let alone for people from out of New Zealand. Yeah. So I know Gladstone um, definitely, you know, it's, it's a short drive north of Martinborough. It's only 20 minutes north, mm -hmm. uh, about 100 metres higher. So it's a, it's a slightly uh, different style of wine. Um, soils are very similar, but temperature is, is mm. slightly different, especially nighttime so temperature. Do you ascribe to the view that 100 meters is one degree Celsius cooler? Uh, yes, maybe more at night times. Um, you know, we, we get up to a sort of temperature of 30 degrees during the day, 30 mm -hmm. to 32 degrees, very similar to Martinborough. Nighttime, however, will come down to maybe six or seven degrees at nighttime, whereas okay. they'll be maybe at 10 or 15 because uh, they're located within a town, Martinborough predominantly. You get a lot of heat coming off the houses and the roads, things like that. So it's generally warmer at night times. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so yeah, we do generally get quite a bit cooler. So, uh, no, it's, it's we, we're very excited about it. I think it's it's uh, it's a very small little region. Um, you know, there's probably only a couple of hundred hectares there. So it's it's very very small um, in, in comparison to Martinborough, and it's obviously uh, you know 25 years younger than or 20 years younger than Martinborough. It's right in our infancy. Now. Uh, You've given me a lovely glass of beer, mm. but you're also a Riesling producer. We do. We do a little bit of Riesling as well. Um, you know, the wire wrapper has always done Riesling well. We get those, those lovely, uh, natural, fresh acidities, which, you know, very important in a Riesling. Um, but aromatics, I mean, Martinborough, the wire wrapper, is obviously better known for, for Pinot. Mm. Um, but aromatics, Pinot Gris, Sauvignon as well, it's a different style to Marlborough. Uh, it's different from Hawke's Bay. Um, so it's a, it's a style that's, uh, I suppose, essential its own. Um, it's a real mixture of the two, uh, you know, further south Marlborough, more northern uh, Hawke's Bay, and then Pinot Gris, obviously where Pinot Noir does well, Pinot Gris generally is going to do well too. So it's, it, it is a region with a lot more diversity than just Pinot. Um, and yeah, no, as I say, I mean our little region Gladstone, we're really excited about it and being that little bit more elevated, ripening period is extended and um, you know for us it's all about the vineyard, uh, the winemaking if it's been grown properly. Uh, really the, the role of the winemaker is a caretaking role and uh, that is what we like to do is, is fairly much minimal intervention through the winery. Mm. And your Riesling, you have extended lease contact, what do you think that brings to the table? I think it just gives you a little bit more texture and, and for us um, we don't want to do something with a heap of sugar, we want to do something drier. Um, that extended lease contact, it just gives you more uh, richness in the mid palate and, and for us all of our wines are destined for the table. Um, we're not uh, a supermarket brand, we're very much independence and restaurant trade. So you've got to have that ability to go with food and, and for us, uh, with all of our wines, we try to add that element of texture into the palate. Uh, and that's something that we just think is really, really important uh, for people to enjoy, you know, with food. Got it. Okay, thanks for the tip. Easy peasy. Uh, thanks for the glass. Pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.